Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to this week's grocery haul. It is currently Saturday morning here, and we are fixing to take off and do our Walmart grocery pickup. I did a Walmart grocery pickup order this morning, but you guys, my car's a mess, so I'm gonna have to stop by the car wash really quick on my way. Also, I need something to eat because I'm about to literally bite somebody's head off. I'm starving, so everybody else is eating but me. And that's the way it goes. Hashtag mom life. But anyways, I think my total today was like $197 or something like that. I haven't gotten a notification on what my substitutions or unavailable items or anything is yet. So we will see. I'm sure I'll get that closer to time anyway. But we're going to go ahead and get in the car and head that direction. And we'll see how this turns out. Let me get um, a bacon, egg, and cheese um, wake-up wrap. Let me get an order of hash browns. And then let me get four strawberry with sprinkled donuts and two glazed. All right, baby. Anything else? I think that's got me. All right, baby. 18.22. Thank you. Our Duncan is in, like, the worst possible location in our town. It's terrible. The parking lot is crazy. I just about witnessed a wreck. A horse trailer and another truck just about collided and then the way the drive-thru is set up is so absolutely stupid two people passed an ambulance that was in line like how rude how rude how do you not know that they're not in line I mean like why you, why you just pass them why anyways we got the goods and now we're on our way to the car wash I got a blueberry crisp ice latte and I got hash browns and a wake up wrap bacon and cheese wake up wrap and then I got the kiddos some donuts while we're sitting at the light here let's go ahead and get some caffeine going uh -huh. I hadn't ordered this in so long I just about ordered it wrong <laughs> as for a iced blueberry crumble and the lady was like you want that black I was like Wait, what? No, hold on. And then <laughs> she knew what I was talking about. Thank God. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. It hits the soul just right. Bacon and cheese wake up rat. Also throwing food everywhere. And I apologize for the angle, but yeah. <laughs> and I have successfully washed the car and I'm a sweaty mess, but we're gonna head into Walmart really quick because I forgot a few things on my pickup order, so. So it's been a minute since I've been in here and they've got this Coca-Cola Dream World here that Mackenzie was talking about this morning, how it's not good, so I think we're gonna leave it there. Can I get a hallelujah? It is almost football season, yes. So I'm over here in the baby section right now and they've got this display here, Baby Dove. It's a new line called Shea Moisture Baby. They've got nighttime shampoo and bath milk, a body cream. This is in Manuka Honey and Lavender. Then they've got raw Shea, chamomile, and argan oil. The same thing, um, detangler curls and coils, nighttime pre-wash detangler, a deep conditioner, um, what is that, um, just a hair and a skin and hair wash, and then down here they've got soothing baby oil, and 
the uh, cream that goes with it. It's basically impossible to do a shot with me now <laughs> where I speak because of this monster. <laughs> what is wrong with you? You just don't like being in the buggy, do you? <laughs> Here's your tip of the day. If your Walmart has a clearance section, which I think all of them do, always check it out because you can find some crazy stuff over there sometimes. That's where we're gonna head now. Some more stuff. I just found 50 cents for some sidewalk chalk. We picked up a couple of those. They've got the little bubble wand blowers on sale for 50 cents as well. And they've got these big pump blasters for the pool for $3 marked down. Some bubbles, a dollar. Oh, they got their bunch of bubbles marked down here. $5 for, how many is it in there? 60? No. Um, a hundred plus balloons included. It's not a bad, that's not a bad deal, but I hate water balloons. They make such a mess. All right, so we saw a little bit of stuff in the clearance aisle. Not a whole lot, but there was a lot of people in the clearance aisle, and I just didn't want to make people uncomfortable by filming. Honestly, I don't care, because I don't care what people think, but um, sometimes people just get uncomfortable whenever you're filming around them, so. Yes. <laughs> Check out the fall and Halloween signs and the Halloween crunch cereal. Does it glow in the dark? No, it turns green. More signs. I like that one. And that one. Wreaths. All right, we gotta get out of here. Oh my gosh. This caught my eye. Look how cute this fall decor is. Oh my God, I'm gonna have to come back. Just a little sneak peek. Oh my goodness. We made it out of Walmart alive. I'm back home, everything's unloaded, but let's discuss this meal plan first before we go into the actual haul. So today is Saturday. We're gonna do spaghetti with spaghetti squash salad and garlic bread. Um, Sunday, we're gonna do pinto beans fried okra and cornbread. I already have the pintos and all the stuff to make with that. So just wanted to try to use some of the things that we have on hand already. Monday, we're gonna do mini chicken pot pies again. That's like a favorite around here. We didn't get around to the poor man's steaks. So we're gonna do that this week with mashed potatoes and Brussels sprouts. Wednesday, we're gonna do KFC bowls. Um, and I just had to write the <laughs> what all goes in that so I make sure that I didn't miss anything on my grocery order. Um, and then Thursday, we're gonna do every man for himself. And then Friday, we usually go out. Alrighty, here is a little overview as always, of everything we got today. Got some sandwich bread. We've been packing lunches around here again. So we've been going through bread pretty quickly. Um, for some, like just something to mix it up a little bit, I got the sweet Hawaiian rolls this time to uh, make Hayden some like turkey and cheese sandwiches on and send with him. I ordered the sliced brioche as well and it was unavailable so I didn't get that. As far as fruits and vegetables, I've got some strawberries. We've got some whole carrots. I've got some Brussels sprouts, broccoli, the spaghetti squash that we're gonna have for tonight. And then also we're gonna have salad tonight. So I've got some, um, I just got a mix because I just don't wanna deal with it later, whatever. Got some romaine. Um, I'm trying to make some like wraps and stuff this week and some grapes. Also got some bananas here. I went ahead and picked up some brown gravy mix. I believe I already had some on hand, um, but you know, it's so inexpensive, but that's for the KFC bowls. Um, and this is gonna be hilarious. I'm about to tell y'all a funny story. So I ordered our um, grocery order last night to be picked up today at 10 o'clock. And this was in my cart already from last week and I just kind of left it. And so when I went to check out, it said this would be delivered, right? Okay, it's not available in the store. They're going to have to deliver it to my house. Do you know that this made it to my house like 15 minutes before I got back with my grocery order? Is that not funny? I just thought that was hilarious. I was on my way back and I got a notification that Andrea was delivering my order and was in my driveway. <laughs> I was like, okay, well, that's just kind of funny that it made it before 
I even got home with my grocery order. We got some Cakesters. They actually had those in stock this week. Picked those up again. We really love those. They're so good. We've got some Little Debbie stuff back here. Just, just some treats. Fudge rounds. Cosmic brownies. And then Harrison loves the pecan spin wheels. So I got those kind of with him in mind. If there's something that he particularly likes, I like to try to keep it here. Just to get some kind of calorie in the child. I saw these when I was in the store and it kind of caught my eye. French pancakes to go. So they're like already kind of sweetened. So you really don't need syrup, I guess. I'm really interested to find out. It comes with eight pancakes in there. So I'm sure the boys will give that a try and let us know what they think. We've got some Mega Stuff Oreos and some Chewy Chips Ahoy. Really high on the junk food this week. What's new? I mean, don't act like y'all don't already know. Um... <laughs> Um, I kind of dumped my cake. This is like a little, I don't know, what is this, like a six, five inch cake or something like that? A tiny, tiny little old cake. Um, it's like $5.98 or something like that. I, um, have a little bit of an obsession with cake. <laughs> I'm a cake person, 100%. Um, and so I bought myself my own cake today. Yes, I did, because I'm special. And then I dumped it upside down. <laughs> I don't care. All right, we've got some Marzetti um, ranch dressing here, and that's for the um, spaghetti night tonight with the salad, and then whatever's left over for whatever. Got some grated Parmesan cheese, and then I picked up some of these um, Dunkaroo uh, frostings. Jeff went to Ingles last night because he had a craving for rainbow chip frosting, and I don't know if they've just like stopped selling it or whatever, or replaced it with Dunkaroos, but you just can't find it, but it's literally the same thing. So I picked that up when I was there today because I knew he had a craving for that and couldn't find it last night. We got some sliced Colby Jack cheese, and I picked these up last week. It's the carved chicken breast, um, grilled fajita type, I guess, flavor or whatever. It's got like a a char about it, I guess, to throw in some wraps this week. We've got some Hillshire Farms uh, turkey breast for sandwiches this week. And then we've got some Martha White muffin mix. I am missing one of the wild berry. I ordered two of those, and there's only one. So, you know. And then I've got two blueberry and, well, three strawberries. So, wait a minute. Okay, I think I know what happened now because I ordered two of each. I guess they just gave me a strawberry by accident. That's fine. Whatever. It'll work. It'll make a muffin. And then we've got some Bob Evans mashed potatoes here for the KFC bowls. I'm just going to use that and, you know, have that be simple for us that night. Got some more macaroni and cheese. I went to Sam's Club recently, and I completely forgot to pick that up whenever I was there. So, got to keep that coming in. We've got some mild shredded cheddar cheese for the KFC bowls. I've got some hickory smoked bacon. I saw these on the app, and... I wanted to give them a try and see what the kids thought about them. It's um, non-fat yogurt with stevia leaf extract, blueberry with gelatin. So that's little cocoa melon characters on it. So, I mean, I guess they're marketing it to the children, to the babies, to the kids, whatever. So we've got that. I've got some Hershey Simply 5 chocolate milk. And then I needed my extra creamy oat milk. I usually get whatever that other brand is that's green. What is it called? It's a uh, Planet Oat. And I noticed that they had the great value in that. So save a dollar. We'll see how it is. I don't know yet. Whatever. Got some whipped topping, Dunkin' Extra Extra for coffee, and then three bottles of Stoke Cold Brew back here for my iced coffees in the morning. Apple juice for the kiddos. I've got two things of crescent rolls for the mini chicken, chop chicken pot pies. And I've got three things of cinnamon rolls for breakfast. Needed some more chewing gum. I always like to get the whitening to help the situations. Did I say cookie dough? I can't remember if I said cookie dough, but if not, we got some more chocolate chip cookie dough. The great value is actually really good. We had it last night. For the KFC bowls, I picked up this popcorn chicken this time. I hope it's good. The great value brand didn't really um, impress me all that much the last time we had it, so I steered away from that this time. Mixed vegetables for the mini chicken pot pies. Breaded okra. I only got one bag because I already have one in my freezer for one of our sides for uh, one night. And I've never tried these Rhodes um, dinner rolls, but I've seen them in other people's hauls. And I wanted to give them a try. So, got those for this week. And then the last 
food item we got back here is our Diet Pepsi and the rest of this is all like non-food stuff. So like I told y'all, I did go through the clearance aisle and just see what they had really quick. I mean, it wasn't a whole lot, but sometimes you happen upon stuff. It's like, oh my gosh, I can't believe that's here. And then some days it's a dud. So, um, we got a couple of boxes of sidewalk chalk. They were 50 cents each. I got this pitcher here to use to kind of carry water from my refrigerator to my ice machine for $2.96. It's the Better Homes and Gardens brand. And then the last thing I got that was the clear was clearance were these cups. I got, these are Pioneer Woman. They were $1.22 off, so I got them for $0.78 cents each. There's four of them here. I like the little pattern on them. And then I got these um, four color changing cups for $0.39 cents each. We have, a, we have a problem here. We have um, cups disappear in my house. Cups disappear. They take off with ice in them, Claire. <laughs> <laughs> so i just when i find cups for cheap i just grab grab them just to have some here we got some more um elastics for where we and i braid hair the girls around here love for me to braid their hair and i love to braid their hair it's my therapy and then <laughs> my throat's kind of bother me a little bit so i picked up these um like cough drops needed some more conditioner i love the way that one smells jeff has a situation so he needed that <laughs> And then the pacifiers are also disappearing around here. So went ahead and picked up a couple more of these. We bought some of these while we were at the beach. And we, I don't know, there's only one left. I don't know where the other one got to. So, you know. And then the last thing I picked up, this was something new and I wanted to try it. It's cotton candy scented um, foaming body wash by Dove. And it smells really good. I'm hoping that it doesn't aggravate Stevie's skin. Um, I'm hoping that I'm able to use it like on Stevie and Harrison. But we shall see. The eczema situation seems to have kind of resolved. So, anyway, that's all we got today. Oh, no, it's not. We also got some paper towels. All right, bye, guys. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. And subscribe. That's what you're going to say. <laughs> Don't be surprised if that ends up in my video. <laughs> Well, you heard the girl. Subscribe. What are you waiting on? <laughs> no, that's going to wrap it up, guys. Thank y'all so much for hanging out with me today. I hope y'all did enjoy. Subscribe. Make sure to give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, y'all.